Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this Arduino Relay Shield to control or turn on and off lights or another DC load like this. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link at the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. For many applications, if you only control up to four loads or different motor lights, or anything that you want to control or uh, this would be a very good option because you have four relays here and uh, except the four pin that has been used the rest of the pins are available for other purpose so here as you can see it has been attached this is sold around between $15 to $20 so I just removed it so at the bottom it has pins this can fit uh, very nicely but uh, uh, so if you look at the the connector here for the relay they are so long as you can see these are very long and they will touch the board let me put it so when I insert this here, this area, this is now a short circuit here. That's very bad. So I have to cut this, this tree only. So the, the other one is far away, just the tree or touching the USB. Let me see if this can do it. Mm. This tree here at this corner. So I cut them, you can see this much, but let's see now. Okay, now this is fitting properly, it looks right. It doesn't go fully, but still, because this is now blocking it. So that is a determining factor how far this can go. So this will hold it. And now let me see if this is clear. So I will use this paper to see. No. You can see that piece is touching this USB, the metal. And the piece of business card, I just cut it. I'm going to just tape it here. So. I remove that other than that everything is good so what we have here is that we have four relays each relay needs a digital out so they are connected from pin four to seven four five six seven so they are connected here which means these pins from four to seven are occupied already so each relay has been lab labeled clearly as you can see relay one two relay 3, relay 4 and for each relay we have three terminals here which are labeled here so this is for relay 1, this is relay 1 and these are the connection and this is for relay 2, relay 2 is here and this is for relay 2 and this is relay 3 and this is for connection for that and this is 4. So actually you don't worry about this, simply you know that this is relay 1, relay 2, 3, here they are already labeled as J3 and then J4. And the pens for the relay are as follow. When you hold it, the pen on this way, these two are normally connected, which means these are connected, this and this, and these two are normally open. So when you connect it, you will connect your wires like this. One wire at the middle and the other wire, if you want normally connected, it should be here. So when the relay energized or the signal comes, it will be disconnected if you want it the other way. Or if you wanted that when the signal comes and the relay is turned on, it should connect, then connect it here. Meaning that the middle one never changes. So you only change it, your wire either from here or here for different application. And the same thing for the other one. So the same thing applies here. And on this side, they've labeled it in a strange way. For example, this one here, you see these two are connected. 
but these two are open so th there is some open spot so this also helps connect it open so these two are connected the middle and the right side are connected normally connected and this is normally open also it has been labeled here as NO3 So as you can see here, it has been labeled NO3, normally open 3, common 3, so the middle is common and normally connected 3. And here also it has been labeled as, uh, as you can see here, as normally open 4, common 4, normally connected 4. And the same thing here, which is hard to see, yes, now you can see here, normally open 2, no common 2, normally connected 2, and, sa and the same here. So internally, they are connected and if you want to follow the path, the path are here. So four, five, six and seven. All of these are connected on the other side to uh, circuitry with a transistor that can control this relay. Also we have here LEDs. So this LED one, LED two, LED three and four. They show respectively the uh, um, signal connection for each so when really when it's turned on the, this LED also will turn on and informing you about the situation now I've connected the relay if you want to know for simplicity these are the two wires that are coming to turn on the light so if I connect this directly here this light will be on but what I do is I put it here so when it is connected the relay will connect this wire with this so this goes and comes back here it goes to that bulb and comes back. So this way the circuit will complete and the light will be on. So this is the code that I wrote for this. Because uh, the pins were very confusing. Pin 7 is 1, 6 is for relay 2 and 5 is for relay 3 and 4 is for relay 4. So that was good but the other was in reverse. So I, I defined it as a, as a uh, variable, constant variable for myself. To make my life easy so when I type relay 1 anywhere in the in this code that means pen 7. So the same thing relay 2 is pen 6, relay 3 is pen 4 and relay 4 is pen 4. So pen 5, 7, 6, 5, 4 are used for these four relays so they will be occupied when you use a shield. Now here on the setup inside the setup we have just I put this one with 9600 baht to show the information on the serial monitor which you can click here serial monitor because now it's not connected I got error so here uh, I will define pen mode really one so this is it says seven so as if it I if I type here seven so pen mode seven is output and then really two so this is Really, two is the output. Really, three as output. Really, four outputs. So these are those numbers. So we are defining the pins as an output. And then, so now, here it says keep really make really three high. So it this will turn on the relay three. This will print the text for us. So I play it with this, and then keeps it for three seconds on, and then make it off. So this is really three off low mean off and print this and then wait for three seconds so which means keep it low for three seconds so this will now apply so I'm gonna upload the code and show you so I'm uploading the code now and you will see the text here and also you will see the activity here so now it says really three on and here this is on also you can see here the LED three is on So if I want to turn the relay 1 on, the only thing that I need to do is here I just need to change this relay 1 or just put multiple lines. Just copy this line and paste it and change this. So let's say I want relay 1 on and relay 1 and then off. Okay, so let me change the code here. and then upload it. Now this is not connected to relay 1 but you will see the relay 1 light here.
Okay, so the relay one is on now and then off. So I'm just doing simple on and off, but you can do here based on some condition or something. Let's say something happens here, you can put your if condition and then inside the parenthesis and then underneath, just put your condition inside if and it will control that relay for you. This was the introduction to Arduino 4 Relay Shield. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video, please share it and also subscribe to get updates of my upcoming videos.